Hey guys, what is up and welcome to the weekend loadout. I'm Fluffy Ninja from Warp Crew and this weekend, um, man, are we doing something different. Um, so as you may or may not know, I've had a die dam literally forever. It's what started this show actually, was uh, ready for the damn weekend where I'd take my dam and just do different, uh, like, kind of verifications of it or man i am exhausted i literally just woke up probably about half an hour ago um so yeah but um i took my die dam made you know different versions of it and then i would show it off but this weekend going with um anyway uh this weekend we're going to blast camp for the mag fed only uh games and it's gonna be a night game where it's like four to midnight so that's gonna be fucking awesome Granted, it's not going to get super interesting until about 9 o'clock because out there it stays, uh, like, light until probably about 8.30, 9 o'clock. So, it's going to be, it's going to be kind of cool. Um, probably by then, most people are going to be done playing, though. Like, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people might show up late just to play at night, but, like, that field is dangerous enough as it is. Like, you can ask my ankle and the inch and a half thorn that went into it during the final battle of Mad Max. Um, you know, you can ask my knee, which almost shattered on a rock that was buried in the middle of the field. And I, like, knee down on it really hard. Um, but anyway, <laughs> like, um, I, th I think the game is going to be cool. Like, uh, Caesar, the guy that runs it, uh, uh, the um, ODIL, or... Whatever, yeah, whatever it's called, like the, yeah, just like the MagFed things in Illinois and Indiana and stuff like that. He's kind of the guy that runs it, and it's fucking awesome. Um, I kind of wish that he would take my advice and say, hey, let's go out to Fort Knox uh, before they ban first strikes because they're getting really fucking close because people are assholes. But anyway, like, beside the point, let's get to the loadout. Uh, I have my Die Dan. Again, finally. Um, I have my, my Bob Long barrel, and I'll... I'll get to why in a second. That's going to be a whole nother thing. But, um, yeah, like that might actually be another video, but I doubt it. Um, got 20 round mags. I love these things. Um, depending on how this weekend goes, the other day I shot 120 shots out of these mags. No problem. I had one, like, end of the barrel break and I think that was my fault because um some of my paint was rolling out uh, I was like the the Balkan reserve from blast camp that we didn't shoot when we were uh at Mad Max like we had, I've, I've got like a case left um but yeah like I I think that was my fault because I installed the new E14 breach and a, it's awesome, because it's just solid metal. Like, that's just fucking dope. But, um, the detents, I, I think I might have stretched them out too much trying to put them in, so I don't think that they're correct. Like, a lot of people are saying, pinch your detents a little inwards before you install it, because, like, it's going to flex, obviously. So, I was, I, I didn't do that. I was just excited about getting the breach and put it in. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the whole thing. Um, MagFed only game, so of course we're just running MagFed. Uh, I've got a little, I think this is a TMC grip up here. I might take this off, or not a TMC, a TM7 grip. I might take this off and put it on my TMC. I actually, I absolutely love that gun. Like, if this thing doesn't work, I, I have that just, just to run. Because the problem with this breach, this is the thing that I was going to get into in another video. It doesn't accept all barrels. And a, a lot of you know, I am a huge advocate for freak barrels. And I have... Uh, the GOG Freak Barrel, which, by the way, I haven't I haven't tried the new Freak XL Barrel. I was supposed to, and then I was supposed to get one uh, from somebody else, and I just didn't order it from them. So that's that's my fault. But I was supposed to get one from Warped, and it hasn't come in yet. I think because all of them sold out at Extravaganza, like all the pre-orders sold out, and the people that got the barrels from the pre-order immediately ordered more when theirs were when they were told that theirs were coming in so i think i think that's why but anyway um anyway so this this breach does not fit most of my barrels i have tried a cp i've tried a lurker i've tried freak um 
but they said, oh, the only problem is it doesn't fit Deadly Winds. And I was like, I have a Deadly Winds. I was like, I'll try it for shits and giggles. Didn't fit. Like, it barely got the fuck in there. But I was like, well, what about my GOG Freak Girls? They have the exchangeable backs that you can fucking switch around. I was like, that should, that should fit fine. Like, it's narrow as shit. There's barely any material there. You know, like, they do the best job that they can to make it as small as possible. And that didn't fit. Like, I don't know what, what he... Like, he said he put a counter bore on these breaches. I'm not sure what exactly that means. But, like, he's he said it's supposed to stop the seizing uh, of barrels. And I'm like, okay, that makes... Okay, that, that sounds good. But when he did that, it literally just, like, neglected every other barrel on the market, apparently. Because I've tried all of the ones that I have. The, the Lurker, the CP... Um, the Eclipse Barrels, the GOG, the Deadly Winds. I even tried a, a Die Boomstick, and he said that these are made for the Die Ultralights that come with the gun and Hammerhead Barrels. I don't know why. Probably for shaped projectiles. But even that, like, didn't fit. Like, it, it fits, but it doesn't seat all the way to where you have a good seal between your breech and your barrel. So, that kind of concerns me. But granted, the other day, I shot 120 shots. No breaks except for that one at the end of the barrel, and I think that was my fault because I think a ball was rolling out. It got to it got through the breach, and then I fired another shot, and they broke up here like they hit each other, and hitting like the opening of the barrel like just made the one break, and it just it literally burst. It looked like it burst t like a foot in front of the gun. I was like, well, that was fucking weird, but I think it like just barely broke in the barrel made it out, and then just fucking exploded, so, like, there's that, but, uh, and then, I, I know, I'm way, way off from the, the loadout, but I just got a new first strike tank, finally, it's dirty as shit, and I haven't even gotten to use it, we tried to go last Sunday, um, but we didn't get up in time, and then we tried to go to another field closer to me, that was not happening, there was three people there, like, when we got there, or no, it was five people, two of which were employees. So, you know, there's three actual players. And I was like, granted, Chris and I could kick the absolute shit out of them. Uh, but we're paying $60 for fucking GI One Star. Are you shitting me? Yeah, I don't think so. So, maybe on a Friday night, we'll go there. Because I think we can bring our own paint. But, yeah, that was that was ridiculous. Um, but, first strike, 77 tank. It's not as long as my 80s. But, I think for this... It's, it's okay. Like, I think it's okay for this. But I really, I really liked my 80s. I might keep one just because. Um, but I'm, I'm definitely digging this tank. And these, so, we are technically sponsored by First Strike through Warp Sports. They have done probably the most amazing thing. I'm sure there's a lot of old ballers out there that'll be like, oh, and then I know I know Immortal Air Tanks are really good. The new Immortal Air Tanks are fucking amazing. But these tanks don't die, which is awesome. So every five years you have to hydro it. And usually after uh, hydroing it twice, so after 15 years, your tank is done. Like, you can't use it anymore. You literally cannot use it. This tank, however, can be rehydroed, can be rehydroed, can be rehydroed. And as long as it passes the, hy the the hydro test, it's still good to use. So, it's one of those things that it's like, eventually, like, I don't know how long from now, it will eventually wear out, uh, like, explode, whatever. Because I think for hydro testing, they fill it with, like, six to 9,000 PSI of water. I, I think that's how hydro testing works. I, I actually don't know. I mean, hydro, water, you know, just that's my assumption. I think that's what they do. I, I read into it a long time ago, but I don't really remember. But these tanks are fucking awesome. Like, the fact that for the next at least 15 years, I'm going to have a tank that's absolutely fine. Now, I could go in for hydro testing and fail the first time, but that means I can call first. I can be like, hey, your tank failed immediately. And knowing them, they're a pretty good company. That they'll they'll back it up, and I mean they're not going to send me a new one for free, probably. But they'll be like, okay, we need to take your tank, figure out what the flaw was, and then we can go from there. 
kind of deal. But that's, you know, that's just what First Strike does. So anyway, that is this weekend thought. I know that was a huge ramble on like four different things, but um, yeah, that's it. The die dam with the bob long barrel, just because it fits a TM7 grip, which I might take off just because I prefer holding the mag well. Uh, 20 round mags until I get a box mag. It's coming. And then the First Strike 77 tank with my Exalt tank cover because we're sponsored by Exalt. And I have to plug them. And also their shit is really good. <laughs> it's it's not just me bragging about being sponsored. It's like, if you want some of the best stuff on the market, go get Exalt. I was... That's a whole nother video. But, you know, alright. So you can probably see paintball rooms coming along. This is a display case from Warp Sports that is in here. And that's where we're going to leave that, that it's in the here. And if we move, it's going to fucking stay here because that shit was heavy as fuck. Uh, we've got the grid wall over there. Still not up. Hoping to do that this weekend. I'm not sure, though. That might be a thing. It might not. I don't know. i got to get mounts. But, yeah, paintball room's coming along. Granted, everywhere around me except for in frame, like even over here you can see it, there is shit everywhere. And that's because I just haven't put it away. And Krista hasn't made me put it away. But that is this weekend's loadout, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for subscribing if you're a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that button. I'm trying to get back on track to do a video a week at least. you know. And I'm hoping these longer videos, I mean, don't make up for it, but at least entertain you enough that you want to come back. So thank you guys very much for watching. I will be doing videos on the E14 Breach, on the Exalt stuff etc etc so thank you guys very much for watching and i will catch you in the next video